Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Antelope Valley Fair 2019 Demolition Derby Uploads with Low Budget TV. Big thanks to everybody who works this event, making this a possibility and really starting to revamp this event. Was a one event deal back in the day and this was the one event, these stock Demolition Derby cars. But over the years, they said, you know what, maybe if we uh, change it up a little bit and have classes for those that want to build up their cars or run compact cars or run trucks. We just had a truck demolition derby you can check out on Low Budget TV. Also on Thursday, we had figure eights and a whole bunch of fun from that event as well. Check it out all here on Low Budget TV. Tommy, I'm next to you. I'm Jeffrey Best because we're here at the fair. That's right. We were eating some deep fried Oreos and now... We're eating some dirt with these drivers because it's time for stock demolition derby action. Now you talked a little bit about how this used to be a one division event and this was the division that you've explained. Um, we'll be honest here, the car count is starting to grow back. Well, no, it, it's kind of slimmed down just a touch, but with this management, they've done a great job to turn this into a demolition event with four different divisions happening here. But you got to be sentimental to the originals, and that's what's on track here in this one. The cars are lining up in their spots, and it's time to give you some names and numbers. On the field come in the 87 machine. That's David Mahaffey. Then we've got the 720 machine of Wes Johnson, 316. First time ever in a, out in a uh, not a figure eight race. And we're going to ride with them. A demo derby, Andy Shaning. The 94 machine driven by Lena Garcia. Then we got the number 18 coming in to the box. That's James Yelton. Followed by the number nine, piloted by Tony Condola. 007 machine. This, this car is actually listed under the uh, modifieds. Just so you know. It's on the modified list. It's on the modified list. On the modified list. Why is it doing over there? Because I put it there, not realizing it was a stock car. Don't, don't you dare place blame on me, young no, baby. No, you had it right the first time. Did I? Yeah. But, 007 machine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you talking the 007? Of Connor Cartmel. Very good. Also in the field, the number 21 who raced in the figure eights and rolled it over. Yep. The 21 machine that is piloted by Jesse Gonzalez. Did we get the 22? And the 22 machine of Patrick Elliott. What about the 95? Of Lightning McQueen, man. Lightning McQueen in the field. Number 95 of Travis Tarnoff. And rounding out the field, the 50 of Jeremy Edwards. Here we go. Stock Derby, the field is set. They've picked their spots. <laughs> we're green. Multiple. West Johnson cameras. going across the track. Might have been an immediate door yeah. shot. <laughs> he did get the 007 of Cartmel's door. So what do you think Andy's thinking right now? His first ever demolition derby. So let's let's a little give a little story as we go red. We go red, we go red. Half the field going red. I, I, Andy should probably know what a red flag is. See, but I, I, when I'm a competitor in these, I'm always like, I want to hide during the red flag yeah. because of this. All right, I think we're, we're immediately checking in on 007 of Cartmel. They're responding to his passenger side. That was a hard door hit. Yeah, but he was leaning over, I think, trying to get the car started. And he might have. Yeah, he people, might have. People might have thought that he was trying out. to <laughs> trying to get the car restart. But a little bit of backstory on the 316 of Andy Shaning, outlaw figure eight racing competitor. An outlaw figure eight is not what we see here at the Antelope Valley Fair. These cars are like a super late model style, full on, full bred racing figure eight car. And this is his first demolition derby. He doesn't know what to expect. We don't know what to expect. But we already knew he was crazy. Now he's even more crazy. Yeah. All right, we're seeing what the call is here for Johnson. And some hard hitting going on early as they try to 
And again, the officials can determine if it was avoidable or not and make their ruling. He we did. He wasted no time. He came across that track. Now, now it is potential that he didn't see. He might have just mashed the gas and said, I'll hit what I hit. And remember, if you haven't, if Jeffrey didn't tell you, we are up for a Mad Dog Award Mad too, dog. the hardest hitter, and Wes could be going just for that tonight. Yeah, earlier we saw uh, the driver who won the Truck Derby win the uh, Mad Dog. If you haven't seen that upload, we won't spoil who won it for you. All right, now it's just a matter of seeing who's gonna hit what, Tommy. So 007, I gotta give an update on Cartmel. He pulled the stick. He's done. It's a solid shot from Johnson. You, you take a risk when you hit that side of the car because yeah. it is close to the driver's side. Andy going in for a couple hits. First ever demolition derby, as we mentioned. Figure eight driver by trade. 87 coming in. He makes a shot on Shaning. So Dan Ooh, Mahaffey. Good hit by the nine. Into the front end of the 95. Oh, Wes Johnson. Oh, we're climbing. Jeremy Edwards getting runned over. And Edwards going to take the 21. A reminder, ride. that 21 was upside down on Thursday. Oh, man, Wes Johnson's full throttle right now. He's just going for a mad dog. Love it, though. No strategy. Oh, oh that was but he just tire. took out his right front. He took out his own right front. And Mahaffey with a good shot as well in the 87. Yeah, like you said, Mad Dog Award changes the game here. It, it tells these drivers they have an opportunity, you know, to have a chance at winning one of these uh, awards just Look based off of doing this. Because you risk your car on a shot that big. Mahaffey laying in the hits on Edwards. And that 50, he's stuck. To the West Johnson, pulled his stick, he's done. Mahaffey right now delivering some big hits in this derby. <laughs> These stock cars still got the show. Yes. The 94 with a good shot, Lena Garcia on the 22 of Patrick Elliott, who we talked to Patrick in the pit area, and uh, he's just out here to have fun, smashing up that 22 car. He said, wherever I finish, I finish. I'm just here to support. Still a good showing of competitors left in this derby. Jeremy Edwards out, he's timed out and pulled his flag. Watching the 22, that car's been sitting for a while. Looks like the left front of the nine machine is busted. It's kind of doing whatever it wants. Oh, <laughs> Andy's still in it. Sometimes we say it's rookie luck. The nine machine, the buckling boots, Tony Gondola. Yeah, that's buckling all right. That right rear is buckled up. Goes for the front end of Shannon's 316. And the 22 is running again. And oh. sandwich. Double so, team on Shannon there from the 21. All three low budget TV camera cars are still running. So that's interesting. We didn't do too bad on this one. Not bad. The 21. <laughs> of Jesse Gonzalez. See the left rear flat tire of the 21 machine? A little and chasing. Coming. Oh boy, <laughs> oh man. And that's why we did put the camera on the rear of the 95. <laughs> that thing would have flown to outer space. The 95 getting all squished up. <laughs> Travis Tarnoff. Wow. Uh, yeah, how do you even see out of it? He's looking backwards, but there's nothing to see. I don't think you can. You just got to go with <laughs> Look out, Shannon. You're going to get run over. It's so appropriate that Tarnoff's number 95 is sponsored by Rick, a big name in hair. <laughs> that thing's got a mohawk going. Oh, man. Couple hits over here in this direction. 22 going after the 316. 316, Tommy, 
the biggest mistake I think Andy made Ooh. in this was whole derby there? was he showed up with something that looked nice and clean. It's pretty. Mahaffey. He's still in it, though. Mahaffey coming across track, wailing on chaining. It looks like we are down to about five. 21 still running. Oh, another huge shot from Mahaffey. He might just grab the Mad Dog Award. And look at that back, uh, <laughs> that back end packed in. And he's stuck, stuck with that shot. I think the car is eating Mahaffey's 87, the 95 <laughs> is eating it. Kind of an opportunity here. If someone wanted to potentially knock out two cars, you go for the 87, hit them in the rear. Kind of jams that car back in both front ends. Get knocked out. Oh, oh radiator. Man. Oh, man. Zine Gray. <laughs> Found it. Old Faithful over. Jesse Gonzalez, printing boss, is now wet. Do you realize who's who's in the running for the potential victory in the Derby? We're, we're down to two right now. Is our GoPro still on the deck lid of that car? Probably not. not much... Three left. Oh, we got three. We got three running. See, Andy's trying to take him out. Racing style. Garcia's car looks really good, by the way. Yeah. Lena Garcia in the 94. Prettiest paint scheme. Yeah, look at the, I mean. Or I should say, I should say, I can't say prettiest because there's an award for that and I don't know who won. <laughs> but the most detailed paint scheme would be the appropriate. Oh! I think with that shot, we just lost our GoPro. That happens to be exactly where that camera was. Andy Shaning towing Lena around. Tommy, we made fun of him earlier. Hey, sometimes you get first rookie run. luck. Rookie luck. Doing some good hits there in the right rear area. Still, Garcia's car has so much. I think Andy's seen a derby or two, and he's proven it right now. Look at this. Oh, so good work on Andy, but great work on Lena because gassed it up and made sure that Andy only hit the driver or the passenger side. The 22 pulling the stick. Patrick Elliott done. We're down to two now. It's official. These are the two going for the win. Andy has lost his trunk. Yeah, and where did we put the camera? <laughs> right on the trunk. Oh, Lena. Gonna get stuck on the moat, possibly. Oh, Getting oh, hung oh. up a little bit, but drive I away. Just, the thing I don't know is, is Andy's car gonna be able to keep going? Both cars running well. Oh, Andy. Oh, we're stuck. We're stuck. We were stuck. So Andy now with a left rear flat. Who knows what that right rear is looking like too. Andy ain't done though. Nope. Trunk to trunk. Right up into the trunk. Now, I don't know what to call this. If they're stuck, I don't know what to call because they both initiated contact. He's towing her. This he's, is helping He's a tow Andy. truck. The just into a tow truck. Oh, we put that camera in the worst spot. <laughs> Here we go again. Oh! <laughs> I don't know, man. This is going to be a tough one to judge if they're stuck. Drive away, though. <laughs> it's just a ramp. It's a ramp. <laughs> That's all it's become. <laughs> He's going in for more. <laughs> so what happens if he puts a track shot on her? What happens I think, he just go, I think he's just going to go underneath. <laughs> this is pretty damn funny. <laughs> Oh, 
Look at this. Look at Andy's car. Guess what? Andy Shoney is a man. The 316. Go Andy. I know more females than Andy. Yeah, this won't surprise you, but I don't see our GoPro. Oh, boy. But what I do see is I think they're just setting up for different crowd shots. It's a duel. Right now, I think I think they're. I don't know. We'll we'll see what uh, happens here. And he's going across the track. He just doesn't care. Don't care. All right. Let's see what happens here. Are they stuck? And he's just trying to push her out of the arena. All I got to say is for a stock derby, the this trunk of that 94 car has held up remarkably. Yeah, make some noise. The 94 Lena like, Lena now. Up in the air. I think we're both stuck here, Jeffrey. They are. Shanning used up that 316. Shanning's car literally chained together. And waiting for a checkered. There it is. So I believe the 94 of Lena Garcia taking the checkered and the win here in the Stock Demo Derby. Up next will be the Compact. What did you do, Andy? Oh man! You tore it up. <laughs> I think it's. I, this is where this is where the mountain should have been. <laughs> nice. Hey, where did, where's the camera though? On the dirt. Here's the winner. Good night. <laughs>